Hi there, I'm Terry and today on 5 Minute Velo we're going to look at joining and splitting a chain using a convenient chain link. The traditional way of joining and splitting a chain is to use one of these, a chain link extractor. However, over the last few years these special little chain links have been developed and are now quite commonly used. This is what they look like. The links have slots in them that allows you to clip the chain link together without using that tool. If you look closely at the detail of the link, there's actually a little locking mechanism in there, but more of that later. These links are sometimes called power links or snap links or quick links, but what I call them is, well, brilliant. They make joining your chain very easy, and I've covered this in a previous video, a link above. And as the name would suggest, they usually go together very easily. However, that little locking mechanism I mentioned, particularly when the chain might be a bit dirty, means that the links don't always release easily when you come to undo them. You can buy special pliers like these, although I don't have a pair of those, so I'll show you the method I use to undo these links when they're stubbornly stuck closed. I've made one of these. This is just a piece of spoke that I bent with a hook on each end and I can use this to hook in the chain like so. That way it will take the tension off of this link here. So once you've got the power link in a special little upstand like that you can get access to both ends of the link. Get your pliers across there like that from one side of the link to the other so it has to be at the angle and then push together and the link then should open up and then you should be able to separate the two halves. There we are. If it's being stubborn that's how to take it apart without a special tool. Probably the manufacturers would say, don't reuse these links. However, in practice I do find myself reusing them. Before reusing, I clean them up and check that the pin doesn't have too much wear and that there aren't any cracks or any defects in the side plates. I then add a little bit of grease to the pin before putting them on the bike. If you do put a new link on your new chain, clean the old link and put it in your toolkit. That way it's ready for an emergency should you need it.